Consider this. In all of the endless hours of your schooling, you were given plenty to learn. But did anyone ever actually teach you how to study? Sure, you learned how to go to school, and maybe even what questions were going to be on the test. But were you ever taught how to learn? A lack of any real method of study has, over the years, led to many students studying just so they can pass the tests. Or trick methods of memorizing so they can repeat back the right answer when they're asked. Abraham Lincoln. And now and then, other more unconventional methods. But all of this is a substitute for actual understanding. You don't gain any real knowledge you can use. But study and learning are a vital part of everyday life. Not just in terms of succeeding in your schooling, but in an ever more competitive world, many people wish to advance their knowledge on the job. Or perhaps you've had a lifelong passion that you've always wanted to pursue. And as the years have passed, you've come to convince yourself that the subject is just too difficult. But the dream has never quite left you. And many people find themselves, years after their actual schooling, needing to further their education so as to improve their situation in life. For any number of reasons, it's easy to see why it would be very useful to have an effective system of study. Scientology offers a precise study technology that enables anyone to learn and fully understand any subject. It's the first thoroughly workable approach to teaching people exactly how to learn. For example, one of the first steps of studying anything is knowing why you're studying. Instead of looking at data and thinking, is this going to be on the exam? Ask yourself this, how can I apply this material? How can I really use this? If you do that, you'll find you get much more out of what you're studying and be able to put what you're learning to actual use. Of course, you can't study a subject if you think you know all about it to begin with. Having a willingness to know includes deciding that there's something there to learn. In Scientology, it's been discovered that there are three distinct barriers which can block your ability to study and therefore to learn. Each barrier actually produces a different set of reactions in you. If you can recognize these reactions, you can use specific tools to overcome them. If you've ever found yourself feeling bored or exasperated when studying something, or ever felt squashed, dizzy, headachy, or had that dead sort of feeling when trying to understand something, these are the reactions of the first barrier to study, the absence of mass. By mass, we mean the actual objects, the physical things of life. For example, if you were studying about flying from a textbook and read all about how to operate the controls, how much would you understand if you'd never actually seen an airplane cockpit itself? Seeing or touching the thing you're studying, getting the physical reality of the ideas you're trying to learn about would help remedy this. With study technology, you'll learn several useful tools developed specifically to give you the mass you need to make the thing you're studying real to you. If you've ever tried to learn something Go ahead. and found yourself reeling or confused or feeling like the newest step you're asked to do is just too hard. Come on, let's go. This is actually because a previous step wasn't understood and you jump to the next step. This second barrier to study is called too steep a gradient. Gradient means the gradual step-by-step -step approach to something. With these study tools, you'll know exactly how to find which earlier step it was that you missed or never quite mastered, and how to handle it. If you tackle what you're trying to learn so that each step is easily attainable, even the most complicated things can be achieved. Now, have you ever gotten to the end of a page and realized you have no idea what you just read? Or have you ever put down a book in the middle of it, never to pick it up again? 
Well, believe it or not, both of those scenarios are caused by the very same thing. And it's the most important barrier of them all, the misunderstood word. A misunderstood word is a word which is not understood at all. Or it's a word you think you understand, but you have wrong. Going past a misunderstood word gives you a distinctly blank feeling. And if you've ever seen someone getting groggy or falling asleep over his book, then you know they've passed a misunderstood word long before. This also explains why you can get to the bottom of a page and not know what you just read. Somewhere earlier on that page, there was a word you misunderstood. When this occurs, the section right after that word is a blank in your memory. This causes you to separate yourself from it and withdraw. Any class you've dropped or subject you've ever given up on has had its misunderstood words. With study technology, you'll learn how to find those words and clear up their meaning. And you'll not only feel brighter, you'll regain your ability and interest in the subject. As simple as these tools seem at first glance, they represent extensive research into the subject of study and the way our minds work. In truth, being a bright student doesn't depend on native talent. No matter how young or old, or how impossible the challenge may at first seem. With these tools, anyone can learn any subject they choose and use those skills to succeed.